So let's now recap. First of all, in order to create a Flask application, you need to uh, install Flask. And then the second thing is that you need to create a root. And then every root that you create, it must, ha it must have a function associated to it. So for example, if the root is for slash, you need to create a function um, that is associated to it so that it gets ex executed once the user goes to that root. And if you want to make requests, you need to import the requests module. And then you need to use the get the get function to make a request to the URL to the um, to the API service, and then you need to convert the value into JSON, and then you can access whatever keys you want. And then, in order to display in order to display the data in HTML, you need to use the render template. You need to import the render template function, and then you need to specify your template that you want to use, your HTML file that you want to use after. Um, and also the the, full, the files inside it, the file that you want to use. So I have created a file called rates.html, and if you want to pass data to that rates.html, you would just say uh, the name of the key and then the value, and then the name of the key and then the value. And then in the rates.html itself, in the template or in the file itself, you can use HTML and you can access your values here. You can access your values, and according to the uh, data type you can you, you can uh, loop over it if it's an array in our case it was an array the rates is an array therefore I have looped over it and uh, here the target was not an array it just it was just uh, an uh, it was just a string therefore I have just displayed it like this so this is how you can uh, pass data from the from the Python file to the rates that it shimble. and then to run your 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 file you need to open up your terminal and then in the in the terminal you need to type uh, Python three and then the name of the file. So you would type Python three and then the name of the file index.py and then hit enter and this is gonna run your project in the browser. And since I have already I, I already have a host uh, I have already a local host uh, uh, that is being used. It's not gonna use the same here. It's not gonna run. So you can run. You can change the host and the value and the port. You can change the port. So here, if you change the port from 8000 to 8000, 8001, and save and run your script one more time. If you run your project one more time here, let me run my project one more time. Here, if I run my project, it's gonna run my project in a new in a new port 8001. Now if I cop copy this and head on over to the browser and uh, paste it. Now in the browser as you can see if I paste this it's gonna return it's gonna return the table that contains all uh, information about uh, cryptocurrencies and their equivalent uh, values in USD.